Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and oh, <laughs> and this is Lumber Tycoon Two, and I'm on the wrong side. Oh my goodness, that's that's not gonna do. Let's just do this. Fade. There we go. There we go. Much better. Much better. Oh gosh. Sorry, you guys. Here. Slash E. Wave. Hello, everyone. How are you? So this is Lumber Tycoon Two. Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I think I said that all already. I set that off to the side. Uh, we were last working on the BCD, the uh, binary to um, decimal converter. Um, I don't know that I've got enough to do the actual switches on the or switches on this side. Let me take a look to see what I've still got. Um, I don't even remember where I left off. I think this was the last one, and this was F. Is this right? All right. So this one here. Hold on. This is part of A, B, hold on, no, no, that's part of A, okay, and then this one, what is this, okay, A, B, C, I left like a little gap there, hold on, I'm completely confused, oh gosh. And then both of those are hooked up together. Why is that one together? Uh, this is this must be D. And then this one was F. No, D, E. And then F, G should be down there at the bottom. Because this one here is the two and switches there at the bottom of the um, thing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the decoder map here. I'll fade this in. This is what we're working on at the moment. Uh, yes, it looks confusing. Don't be confused by it. It's, it's actually really simple circuits. I just have to trace back where I was. So um, let's go decoder hide and fade. Um, you can look up the blueprints of most things and be able to like rebuild them inside lumber. Um, since I don't have the and switches, let's go ahead and hook up the uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G portion right here. So this top part right here, I'm going to move. And you're going to go right here like that. Finished. And then this one right here, move. We're gonna go on this side, right here. Finished. And this one, move. Right here. And finished. That might be too far over. Let's let's move this back in some. There we go. I want these to be nice and even, nice and straight. Finished. Move. It was a good spot, but it was not level. There we go. Mm, that's good. Finished. And then move. I'm going to do this again down here. Make it a little bit longer that finished take this we're going to move it and then once we're done with this I will actually wire it up into the uh, circuits or into the ABCD columns and then we'll wire the BCD actually over to this All right, hold on I need to go a little bit further than that kind of even with the bottom or sorry with the top this one up here there we go Oh, uh, goodness. Sorry, I've got to hide the chat. Because moving the mouse around, it's going to get jammed up. Alright, and make sure these are even. I don't even remember what color I used. What, what color were these? White. Okay. Yeah, what, white will work. Move. Now I probably could hook up the first set. It's not going to be complete and it will not translate binary yet. 
but it could be useful. Finished. There we go. So that's going to be the digital display, or at least what it's supposed to look like. And then if I turn out the lights, yay, it'll be nice and bright for us down there at the end. So let's hook these up to wires. Oh gosh, what happened? What in the world was that? How? Okay, let's just try and glitch our way back out. There we go, that's fine. So here, come out just a little bit. Right to there. And to there. And down. Out. And this is going to be A. Is that right? Finished. So when we're when we're looking at it like this, it'll be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Wait. When these wires come down, they're going to go G, F, E, D, B, C, B, A. So these are actually going to be backwards. That's okay. I will do a crossover down here at the bottom. I just got to remember that we're going to be doing a crossover. Yay. All right. And let's hook up this top one. This is B right here. We're going to go up here. Oh, please, please allow it to cross. Mm. Oh, 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 there was a green. Do you see the green right there? Hold on. Come on. There's a green somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh gosh, that is ugly. Oh, that's so horrible. That's, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Come back in a little bit right there. Actually, could we just do the crossover over here, I wonder? Oh yeah, we could. Look at that. So then, this one is B. Finished. So, A, B. He hello. What is C? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So this one right here is C. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, and then G is here in the middle. And that's the, that's the one that has the most logic, it looks like. No, D looks like it's got the most logic, or at least the most connections for logic. Oh gosh, why the lag? Seriously. All right, let's come down a little bit. Good. We're just gonna go off to this side. Oh, please. There we go. Sweet. Come over to the top. This is going to cross down to the bottom. Come on. There we go, nice and clean. Instead of that rat's nest that I've got up there at the first one. Finished, there we are. Oh, that is so clean and pristine on the back. I like it. Look at that, oh, that's so cool. Okay. And here we go with D. There we are. Oops. Wait, did it work? Ah, oh, that worked. We're gonna come out right here. A little bit less, a little bit more right there. Good. Oh, that looks so cool. 
I really like the way that's turning out. Like that is, that is A, B, C, D. Oh man, glorious. Um, okay, what am I gonna do on this side? I know what I'll do. We're gonna come up to about the middle. And we're gonna come off to the side. Actually, here. Can we come straight to the, the side like that? And, oh gosh, what happened? It was fine just a second ago. All right. Nope, nope, what happened, what happened? Okay. Is it too short to go straight across like that? Nope, we're good. And we'll come straight across like this, then down, then up and over. Come on, up and over. There you go. Right there, and straight out. Finished. Oh, that is so cool. Oh no, it's a kind of wobbly set. You know what, it's good. <laughs> it is okay, it is just fine. Oh man, and then we need this top one hooked up. I'm gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna come off to the side on that. Uh, by the way, Chief, if you're listening, if you're watching, I bet you could hide these wires like a pro. Uh, we might have to do like how she uh, hid her wires. Come on around. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to switch from here. I'm not going to be able to go straight across, am I? Nope. That's not happening. Because we can't pass through wires. It'll say, hey, something's interrupting the wire path. So, let's go like this. Let's go here. Let's go up. And then we're going to come back down over the top of the wire. By the way, that's a little trick I figured out while I was signing bases. There we are. Up like this. Come on. And we should be able to come all the way down to the end. Like that. Then, come on, come on, come on. Oh, is that even? I don't like it. B. There we are. And right there. Finished. Nice. Oh, it's it's like an actual circuit. It's so clean. Not really. It's not made out of copper or any kind of actual leads. <laughs> now you're just getting picky code. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Let's go right here. We're gonna come over the top of this wire, and then we should be able to just come straight down. Oh no, it's interrupted by something. There we are. All right. Come on then. And good. Finished. Nice. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is awesome looking. Uh, it's gonna look weird with the blue on there, but that's that's fine. I might put some boards or something over these. Better. Oh. Ooh, could I put an entire floor tile in front of it and then it would shine through the floor tile? Oh that is an idea. Hold on. Let's uh let's do something like that. Do I have any more switches? I don't have any other switches. What time is it? We got fifteen minutes. We're good. 
All right, let's drop off the rest of these. And just for fun... Hmm. I could have sworn I had more switches. All right, let's go get... We're gonna need seven switches just for testing purposes. And we'll turn each one on. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I made it. That was awesome. By the way, I think there's some timing issue with this because I feel really fast in the car. There there could be something going on there. I don't know. How much are these again? 750? Ah, totally worth it. Totally. Oh gosh. Sorry. Hello, Code. Hi, Tom. What are you experimenting with today? Well, Tom, I've got a BCD. I'm not really that interested. Um, sorry, Tom. I was just making small talk conversation. That's, that's fine, sir. I'm going to need seven in these, Tom. Seven? I don't only have ten in stock. Actually, you only have four, Tom. Don't look at the shelf. I have more in storage. Well, Tom, you've never ran out on me before, so... I think your supply is good. Oh, thank you, sir. I always give you good reviews when it comes to the Better Business Bureau. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's back this up. Back, back, back the truck up. Back, back, back the truck up. Boom. Backing up. Working at the car wash. All right, and drop that down like that. My goodness, sir, you've grown so big since I first met you. I remember when you first arrived, you didn't even know that the boxes had axes in them. <laughs> Tom, you're so... Let's not talk about it. <clears throat> you, guys, you guys want to see an impression of my first day? <laughs> so, here, Tom, Tom, let me purchase this last one real quick. Yes, that's the one I need. Okay. Uh, that should be enough for experimenting. So the first day, I grab a box and I'm like, okay, let's go, what in the, what happened? Okay, hold on. Let's see here. It's 12, okay, I've got 20, that's cool. Um, what do I do with it? Okay, okay, it looks like I can talk to Tom. Um, all right, Tom, would you like to purchase this thing? And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's like so much, because 20. And then, <laughs> sorry, mate. Yeah, that was pretty much my entire first day. I was just trying to figure out how to do everything. And I did not think, like, if I knew then what I know now, I don't know that I would have ever thought I'd be here. Like, making YouTube videos on Lumber Tycoon 2. If you had told me that first day, I'd been like, Nah, it's not. That's not true. I'm a programmer. I'm gonna be doing programming videos and tutorials and hypnosis and stuff like that. But then, when it took off, that was awesome. You guys loved it, and I loved playing it. So, found a love. Uh, all right, let's put that one. That's too close. Move, move this back. Come here. And let's just let's just open up all these. Hello, hello, buddy. All right, and grab. Oop -a -doo 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 -doo. Uh, by the way, if you don't know what I just did, I opened a box and I grabbed a box. So I could do uh, two at a time, like that. It's a build technique. I, I don't think I learned that from anybody. I think I was messing around one day and I hit E on something and it didn't do anything. And then I ended up grabbing another box and all of a sudden it appeared, so. Thank you, Lag, for that discovery. Now, um, let's see. To get the number one, I'm gonna need this one. And, oops. And this one, right? Finish. So B and C. Yay, the number one. All right, let's go grab uh, this. This will work just fine. 
and we're going to turn and slap this on the wall. Slap it on the wall. That might not work. Can I? I, I? That's not going to work, is it? Oh, would it shine through on the back side? Oh, that's what I should have done. I should have done it on the back side of something. Hmm. Well, I don't want to move. Yeah, I can move it. It's fine. Here, let's go like this. Move. Here. 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 Finished. Hmm. Might be too bright. Turn it off. Hmm. Well. Those are so bright that they're lighting up everything? Or is there a lag? It's the middle of the day. Shh. <laughs> it's too bright. Okay. Oh, there's a short. Why is there a short? What is touching? Oh, it's right there. Okay. So that's going to be a problem. There it goes. And it's not shining through anyway. Alright. Experimental fail. Actually, it's it's still a discovery, so I mean, that's not a bad discovery to find. Let's go ahead and turn. Set this down like that. I've seen it before where you can see stuff through the walls. Let's go ahead and move this. I'm going to set you back where you were. Oh gosh, come on. Not too close. Is that good? That's good. Sweet. Do we have any more wires? No, that was all the wires I got. Okay, I think that's good for tonight. Uh, I will definitely have to go and buy more logic because I did not anticipate the, uh, the amount of logic that this thing was going to take. <laughs> So look out for part four. Uh, we got the back end of the BCD done. The digital display, which is the decimal part. That's zero through nine. Um, by the way, if you want to learn more about decimal, binary, hexadecimal, uh, octal, there are different weighted systems. And a lot of them are used in programming and a lot of them are used in networking. So um, that's why when you see an IP address, 192.168.0.1, or 1.1. Each one of those octets, oct is it octet? Each one of those actually converts over to hexadecimal, which is why 255 is the highest number you can go to on any one of the octet. I keep calling it an octet. Each one of the A, B, C, D portion of an internet protocol TCP slash IP address. That was a lot to talk about. <laughs> Anyhow, um, MAC addresses. Like the thing that your computer talks with, like that's the identifier for the uh, the NIC card, which is the network interface card. Yeah, you guys probably don't. <laughs> Just man, I don't mean to talk over your guys' heads. I really don't. And if I am talking over your heads, sorry. If I'm not, I hope you're interested in it. And if if you are interested in more of that kind of thing, look up some tutorials on hexadecimal, um, binary. Um, IP addresses, TCP slash IP. And when you get to a certain level of understanding of computer chips, programming languages, networks, you'll start to see it all melding together. Like you might be learning the AND or XOR of circuits, but that's also the AND and the OR and the XOR inside programming and on chips, and on boards, and on, it, it's just logic, it's bit logic. So, love you guys very much, have a great night, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, down below, if you'd like one of these awesome t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right now, except for the fact that it's green,
it's got my face on it. Um, yeah. Uh, and I did see your comments about like, oh my gosh, code has a tattoo. It, it's not a tattoo. It's, it's the reflection of my skin off the light. By the way, I've got two lightings on the left and the right of me. Um, if you're going to use a green screen, you're going to have to have lots of lighting for the back screen. That way it doesn't do the weird stuff. Of course, mine still does weird stuff. I don't know. Anyhow, just talking. <laughs> Love you guys very much. I'll talk to you soon and have a great night. I gotta do an outro. <laughs>